Hey everybody, today we're going to go over the REPT 320 amp hour cells. Uh, these cells uh, should be available from our website soon in both a four cell or a pallet form. Uh, a lot of people have been asking us what the status of these are. Well, what I'd like to tell you is that we had an initial batch, but it essentially sold out faster than we were even able to put up on our website. But we have some cells here. We want to go over them with you maybe discuss some of the features of these cells, what we like about these cells, and why we think this is probably going to be one of the more popular uh, big boy cells available in the market. Uh, so first, let's sort of look at the capacity. Uh, these are going to be testing between 332 to 333. Of course, that's when it's new. Expect probably to settle down closer to, I would say, 325 after a little bit. But again, from the factory, they're coming at well over a 1,000 uh, watt hours so one kilowatt hour cell very impressive the other thing that's very nice is if you look at the top the terminals are absolutely massive and we've made a custom adapter that's going to make mounting bus bars extremely easy this is large it has plenty of contact area it has our logo insignia stamped on it so you know you're going to get a quality product if we actually look at a standard bus bar you can see the amount of area we have I mean, this just, you know, all the contact area. So well over, you know, 300 amps sustain, not a problem. Now, we don't recommend you discharge that cell this much because it is designed mostly, well, not as much for burst power, but it is designed to provide a lot of uh, long lasting endurance type power, but super easy to mount, okay? Now, if I compare it to one of the things that we had to do, as you know, you know, our uh, V2 adapter has been very popular. It has none of the problems uh, the traditional Eve adapter has, or even the knockoff Eve adapters have. But there is a potential lever point. As you can see, if someone pressed hard enough, they could bend it. That's highly unlikely to do it because this is the version two of our uh, Eve style adapter and we've increased the height. So, so far, not a single person has complained, hey, that these are weak, I'm having, you know, issues with it. So, still a very good and it provides good contact area or full coverage for a bus bar. But again, this is just a whole nother level. There's no weak point. It's super solid, um, you know, very nice. Um, let's look at the size comparison. If you see, the cells are almost identical. I would say maybe half a millimeter taller, uh, if that, but physically, they're almost identical. Um, I, I actually think they are identical. So it's just, you're getting even more capacity for relatively the same size. So it might be slightly thicker and slightly taller, but it should fit you know, our kit cases just fine. Now, if we compare it to, let's say, an REPT 280, which again, it's another very good cell. Plenty of contact area for a bus bar. We use these in our 275EX and our 275SE batteries. Uh, very good cell as well. But if we again, if we compare, it's almost identical. I would say this is maybe ever so slightly uh, thicker. I don't have the exact measurements because um, we'll actually get those to you later. We'll actually have the uh, manufacturer data sheet uh, available soon. But again, should fit pretty much any of the standard sizes. Now, we will be molding a new sort of uh, mounting tray. As you can see, we normally put our stuff where it mounts here. It's not going to mount here. So we are working on that. Um, I'll give you an example of how it's going to look like. All right, so uh, this is sort of what we're working on. And this is going to be a plastic injection molded piece. Um, so I'll show you a video of how progress that is. But... We have been sort of cutting up recesses here. So you see we've added like recesses so that it will fit. And this will still fit our case. We actually have some, uh, I'll show you some sort of, you know, B-roll, I guess, footage or whatever we have, whatever you call it, uh, of how that's going to be. But yeah, it will be fully compatible with our cells. We had to do a little bit of modifications to get it to fit. And this is how it's going to be in there. It's going to be a tight fit, but a tremendous amount of power in, you know, very compact case. So, um, yeah, the 315EX Plus or the 315NX is going to be based on, on, on these cells. But, uh, but, yeah, this is just a little bit of preview of the rept. We'll do, you know, capacity tests on them, maybe a, a sort of a discharge thing. Uh, again, I will tell you their discharge of these is not going to be as high as the EVE 304. This is a purpose-built EV battery cell. 
designed for heavy loads and uh but these have 8000 cycle rating at 80% discharge and up to 10000 cycles at 70% discharge so it's definitely you're giving up a little bit of burst power for a much much longer life now whether or not you're going to calendar age them before you cycle age them that remains to be seen i actually think you're probably not going to see any real world difference between this cell and that cell but most people are going to like the capacity if they can get the full 300 amp hours and still keep 15 amp hours reserve or 15, 20 amp hours reserve. That's something going to be, you know, quite appealing. Um, anyway, that is where we are so far. Um, like I said, expect them probably within a month and a month and a half to show up on our website. Um, and they'll be available in kit form first or, you know, in, in, in stuff like that. But eventually do expect them, you know, to also have pallets available and, and you know, our other usual offerings. Okay, if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us an email. We're more than happy to answer those. But uh, like I said, just contact us, uh, cssunfunkits.com, or go to our website, call us, and we'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you.